everyone so today is july 5th um we got into key west yesterday i didn't do much videoing of that um, we settled into the city marina mooring field in um, garrison harbor and it's um it's kind of an interesting place where after the storm comes through it's pretty much going to be from like noon today we're going to have like 30 mile an hour winds probably um, for about 24 hours so probably Wednesday so today is Monday tomorrow Tuesday we're still gonna have the storm um, Wednesday we're gonna go out and do a little bit more um, provisioning get a couple of things done that we need to before we go back out to either Marquesas or the Dry Tortugas and I'm gonna show you a little bit about the harbor here so somehow we lost all of our footage from Key West, including all the hurricane. So in a nutshell, what happened was we spent there a few days and it really didn't hit us in Key West too bad. We had maybe like three foot waves and up to 50 or 60 mile an hour winds, but in the harbor, it wasn't, wasn't horrible. Now out in the Marquesas, there was a port for waves of up to 10 to 15 feet. So it's a really good idea that we did leave there. After the hurricane though, our e-propulsion um, motor died and you can check out the video here, what that's all about. Um, we ended up getting a used Mercury 10 horsepower two-stroke outboard um, and to finish out our trip to the Marquesas, Dry Tortugas and back. And um, that was, took a really long time to do. Um, finding it, getting it transported here, blah, blah, blah. Um, we ended up buying an electric motor when we were all done with everything, but those aren't um, Amazon Prime two-day shipping. So we had to wait until we were all done with the whole um, trip to do that. Hi, my name's Micah. And this is my wife, Grace, and our two kids, Gabriel and Alana. We saw them growing up fast and wanted to see the world while they were still with us. So we fixed up a 37-foot aluminum catamaran, have been living on it for almost two years now. We've added Cypher to our family since we started. We've been exploring the oceans and reefs of the Florida Keys, but are getting ready to explore more of the Caribbean. Right after we fix up our hurricane damaged Leopard 48. Join us as we share more of our adventures with you. So we finally made it out of Key West, yes. heading up above Boca Grande, and then, um, so we're still like in the Key West area, and then all of a sudden, all these parasailers showed up out of nowhere. It was just like parasailing time. to the 
this, but we're probably going to spend all of tomorrow if it looks nice here because we want to do some spearfishing. We want to check out the, this beach because we haven't been to this beach, even though I'm pretty sure it's the longest in the cases. Yeah. Um, it looks longest. Yeah, Lana's really excited about that. She has a little strainer. She wants to see if she can find some sharp teeth. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, so, yeah, that's where we're at tonight. Um, glad we got here before sunset. Well, not sunset before it's too dark. And, um, yeah, we probably did about an hour or two of motoring right off the bat. But besides that, we're going to sail. Yeah, we're so, practically sailed right here. And then we took down the sails and motor. It is so much cooler here though. It was yes. so hot in Key West. It was crazy in Key West. Like, so many things were happening. People's boats were dragging. A, a boat <laughs> well, sank. during the hurricane. Yeah. yeah. And it just seems like here is like so much nicer since it's like there's not tons and tons of stuff happening. It's nice time to relax. See you tomorrow. Hopefully, do some, like I said, some spear fishing and some beach adventures. Yeah, and also we found when we were uh, left with the hurricane, um, we actually were looking up and we were, we'll hopefully try to find some horse cock too. Since we learned uh, yeah. how we can actually eat them, so we'll try to eat them too. Yeah, horse conch are not regulated here, yeah. which means you can harvest them. We and we looked up ones. some videos on how to actually prepare them. For like conch ceviche and stuff, yeah. or conch salad, um, and so yeah, we're super excited about that because we found maybe three of them last time yeah. we were here, which was over a period of a few days. So, um, but we didn't know how to. But we didn't keep them. Stuff. So now we're gonna give it a try. And also, we didn't have a um, meat counter. We didn't have a meat tenderizer. Oh, it would have been so hard. Which we either need to boil them. Happen. For an hour or two, or tenderize them, and I don't feel like using the water or the electricity to boil it for an hour. So, yeah, so we we're gonna do it the other way, which we do have one now, so that is gonna be fun. Hopefully, we'll find some tomorrow because at the Dry Tortugas, you can't take anything like that. Um, and you can catch all fish on a fishing pole. You can, only you can fish catch some fish, but you can't spear with fish. Your fishing the kids haven't been super enjoying that. We so. get so bored. Yeah. It is kind of hard. Anything you want to say about the day, Gabriel? Um, <laughs> well, I guess it was pretty, pretty average day. Probably not like the highest ranking day. Because we, we couldn't find his own, and I was sick napping the whole time. I'm not normally sick, so that's kind of weird. Well, just got done tying the sail up, and so I forgot himself all went under the rope. Like his belly was getting strapped up to the sail, and he's like, <laughs> "It was kind of crazy." But it feels so good to be here. Like I remember in Key West was just kind of like a bummer week because it's so gorgeous here and so much more free, and we can get the wind. Our dinghy matched the water. That was so pretty. <laughs> our camouflage dinghy. Yes. It's called Bahama Blue, Bahama Sea Blue, something like that. Ocean spray. Yeah, I don't know. So we thought we'd be camel with some water, so we found that camel water. <laughs> so, looking forward to exploring the water tomorrow and sailing to the Tortugas the next. So on the first day here we did some snorkeling and then later on that evening we went out to the beach.
So we're here on the Marquesas again, um, taking outside of the largest key, entrance key, and we went to check out some rocks early this morning, went some snorkeling, but um, they were really just more like sandy, grassy areas. Wasn't any coral or, or much fish, but we did see a few things. We, I'll, I'll show that below. And then um, now we're checking out the beach. This is the largest beach in the Marquesas. And some of the um, few beach that we've been to so far that actually has sand in the water. This is crab. It was just going. So we're gonna check out um, actually how large this beach is. Hopefully we'll walk the whole thing and I'm gonna put it on my um, Navionics to track how far it is. But um, so far it's really pretty. So there's two beaches. There's this little one here that we just walked on. The kids are bringing the dinghy around. And then it's separated by these mangroves. And then the large beach. So Grace and I were just gonna walk across, but so far it's been like seagrass and then like three or four inches of mud underneath. It's kind of gross. So that other beach had quite a bit of glass. I think more people go there and party and drink and stuff. Um, well, I'm hoping that more people do it there than this next one. We're gonna find out in just a sec. Cause it looks like there's a, a deeper channel that runs next to it, which would make it easier to get there on your dinghy. Um, which we didn't take that channel, we should, cause if we were rowing in for, I don't know, 300 yards or something. But. It's not too far to the beach, so we'll get there. All the crabs running away that were under it. <laughs> so many. So this is the first beach that has we just found these turtle marks here and we think those, that's like the turtle nest. Probably the turtle nest over there. We've been seeing them a few different places, but we don't always see the actual marks of the turtle. pretty cool. Um, there's just uh, it le way less like glass and everything on the beach. So, so, so uh, probably another mile, mile and a half. But um, having some conch ceviche that we made today from some horse conch that we found out um, on the flat over there. So. Um, Beautiful sky though. It's a whole three mile beach all to ourselves.
Cypher's getting more and more comfortable while we are underway. Hanging out up here. We are a few miles off, but we're leaving the Marquesas back there. We collected a few shells. Seeds, and one of them's moving, so we got to get it out. Go ahead and show the camera. And it's feet down there. Gabriel's just been organizing the ropes. Yeah, it's, it's a little bittersweet leaving the Marquesas. But we only have four knots of wind. We are on our way to the Dry Tortugas! Less than 40 miles to go. Yeah. Hopefully the wind kicks up. It's predicted to be like 15 knots, but we're not seeing it yet. Cypher keeps on thinking being on the Bimini is the best idea. On the solar panel. On the solar panel, so it's like super slippery. Yeah, near the boom, wrapping back and forth. <laughs> Wow, the fort actually looks like what it looks like in pictures. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but we're, we're actually quite close to it and we're getting to the anchorage and it looks really cool. Right over there. Tomorrow we're planning to go and explore the fort, hopefully. It's a little island over there with trees and birds. I don't know, it looks kind of like a big huge sandbar. I wonder if it's all connected to the fort. I don't know, guess we'll find out when we explore. It's super hazy, but over there is a lighthouse. Guess it might not be usable right now. And then, probably can't see anymore, but we have been passing these sandbars and there's three different keys. And there's just like, stamp are sticking up out of the ground which is kind of amusing um yeah probably can't see them too good back there but the sun's setting as you can see we just got here to the fort we were gonna anchor here but there's just like so many boats there. there's barely any room so we didn't go there so we came in this little area kind of isn't as well protected but we just wanted to make sure we didn't run into anybody besides that it was pretty smooth sailing actually it was mostly motor sailing since there was Actually, there was like a lot, most of the time there was like five knots of wind. Like, not good for sailing. On this trip, we are headed to the Dry Tortugas, and we found some amazing things there. I ended up making an entire coloring book just about the Dry Tortugas. You can find it on Amazon, link in the description below. We show you where to go snorkeling in the book, but also just show you some of the amazing fish and the facts we learned about the place. <laughs> 